Okay, so if you're watching this, then you probably were watching my last video and you saw this thing in the background. If you're familiar with 3D printers, this is a variant on the Rostock 3D Delta. It's the Delta 3D printer. It uses arms instead of axes. And uh, I've actually made my own printable frame for it using threaded rod. This is the part I designed. It is a just basically an inverted vertex. I made it on that machine. I made a bunch of these and I prototyped them. They're looking pretty good. I've got all the motors mocked up. I still need to get some M8 idlers for the top so I can put some washers on there. I, I would like to make these all one piece, but I like the idea of keeping these as just an extra add-on to the current row stock. So if you have a row stock, you can print out these on your current version and then get rid of those plywood pieces. I do have a little bit of twist lash. A lot of people were complaining about when I showed the photos on my Google Plus. So I, I've designed some new connectors, rod connectors. Put up two pieces of M8, or actually these are 516 thread rod. And I will connect all these up. I haven't printed them all. So it will basically be a cross beam. And then there will be another one right here in the middle just holding these two nice and tight. One of the problems I ran into is that one of my earliest pieces was not strong enough, so it cracked. So, actually, these are these are original design. They just took from a concept from another person on Thingiverse. I took this design, and I didn't like that it didn't have a flat side to put the washer against, so I designed my own. It started with, oh, where are we at? Sorry. Started with this design, and then again, it didn't address the issue of the washer, so I designed this. It's got a flat surface, flat surface on the side where the bolt would be installed. And I actually just zip tied these down real quick just to kind of give it a little added strength. And the, the hardest part of designing these were to actually getting the, the shaft centers right so that they were both in line with the actual row stock version because I wanted these to go up and down very well. So it's actually pretty smooth. It's designed to hold itself up. I think I can go for some new eilers, some new bearings there, but I've got, I've got the belts, I have the motors, I have the rods, I actually have the shafts ready to go. Here's my project box. Let's that bad boy. So I got a choice of a Gen 6 board. I have a ramps in here. I'll probably end up using that. Uh, I'm looking over here. Let's see what we have. I printed out some halves. This is my mosaic. Cannot print out full 200 and something odd millimeters. So I had to design my. Uh, someone designed one and put it on Thingiverse. I actually do have some shafts here ready to go. Right. Okay, so this is just carbon fiber from an arrow. And there is a design made for 516th carbon fiber. And I designed it, I printed it up, put some Gorilla Glue on there, and I used a known distance, basically two M3 screws drilled into a board to verify what uh, the distance was. And I did that for all of them. I'm using this board right here. So I took this board that I just used for a shelf before and I put these on here and it fit so I made all my arrows that exact same length glued them in let them sit there for about two hours until they hardened and then I verified it by putting two hex keys through the ends and they were all the same length otherwise they wouldn't fit on the same two sets of hex keys so it's coming along uh, I really would like to finish it before I go away for schooling, but I don't think I'll get a chance. It's got a pretty big vo print volume. <clears throat> These here are just 12 inch, 516 thread rod. I would prefer to go with 8 millimeter, but like Master Car costs a lot for 8 millimeter. This is a 8 by 8 print bed here that I designed for my new, my older Mendel. Never really used it. So that's actually, that's pretty large, maybe a 10 inch print area and it can actually go outside the distance between the rods over, over here. So once it starts printing it can actually work its way up over. 
Now with this brace here, that might actually interfere with that. So that's the disadvantage of this frame. I, I designed this so that you wouldn't need to buy the extrusions that everyone decided they're going to start using because that model doesn't really have a lot of documentation on it and it's in flux and the designer of the row stock is actually working on it and he keeps changing it but the original row stock is, is in use and it's working so I took just the current designs added a vertex so you can actually do it without the plywood top and bottom and then the brace on the side we'll see how it works out Later.